So we go through a normal full clinical assessment, so joint range of movement, muscle powers, spasticity, balance, posture, we look at their gait in our gait lab where, where we are today. Um, and um, we also like to involve the MDT, so physiotherapists, occupational therapists if we can. The more information the better uh, and I think uh, another key member of that team is the patient themselves um, because they're the ones that are going to be using the prescription. Yeah that's a really good point so we really need to focus in on their goals. We're really asking the patient what they want to achieve so it might be that they want to be able to walk a bit faster, it might be that they want to just do a sit to stand and transfer so um, and as orthotists we may want to say well we've got to protect your knee, we've got to protect your foot because because you're in, or take you out of pain. So these are very, so there might be specific things we want to achieve, that, but we have to tie them in with the patient as well. Quite often, one of the issues that we see when patients come in is their gait pattern is poor to start with. So they have something called a step two gait, where their non-affected side steps to their affected side. Their balance is shifted all to their non-affected side because when you have a stroke you often can't really feel your affected side so your centre of mass shifts and so we then are trying to improve that gait pattern by getting to step through gait so we want that non-affected side to swing through past the affected side and that creates in the first instance it creates a faster and uh, gait pattern so we can often improve walking speeds. Improving the ankle posture uh, in all three planes will also have a knock-on effect and a positive effect at the knee and hip by improving stability, uh, improving the velocity of walking, um, improving practical uh, functional tasks such as, uh, as climbing stairs, negotiating slopes, uneven terrain. So a very common prescription is an ankle foot orthosis, which uh, many people will be used to. Um, the ankle foot orthosis uh, can come in many different shapes and sizes. This is a fixed ankle foot orthosis that's designed with a very, very stable ankle area to offer very strong, very, very strong in this transverse plane. Um, in this type of prescription, we're really concerned about the foot structure, we're really concerned about protecting the foot and ankle and preventing any um, rotational forces like an equina varus foot posture from occurring. But we're also then using the structure and the function with the extended trim lines on the forefoot to really stabilise the knee and also then the hip. Comfort is imperative. Um, if we're expecting someone to wear this device from morning to evening, then it needs to be comfortable. Um, so again, there are certain design characteristics that we can put into the orthoses to ensure that there is comfort. Another common prescription that we're using more and more now is something called the Neuroswing. Um, this uh, orthosis is designed with a uh, ankle joint that allows some freedom of movement um, and it also enables us to fine tune the uh, fitting incredibly accurately using the gate lab. So we have uh, different springs that we can put into the two different channels. We can change the range of movement, we can um, dampen or increase the resistance um, depending on exactly what that patient needs. We're finding this orthosis um, is incredibly beneficial, patients love it because we can really optimise their gait pattern. It's carbon fibre, it's very lightweight, it's uh, a really functional device. So if a patient presents with certain movement and the ability to, to move the ankle for example, we want them to use their own muscles and their own coordination to achieve that, whereas uh, more traditional devices often will block good and bad movement. I'd say come in, let's have a chat, let's have a look at your presentation, let's have a look at what you've been given previously. Just because you've had an orthotic and it didn't work, it doesn't mean orthotics don't work. You know, orthotics come in so many different shapes and sizes and generally there are so many processes involved in making an orthosis work correctly that it's hard. So if it hasn't worked previously, let's give it a go. You know, we, we can work through those processes and give you something that will work better. Mm -hmm.